So good afternoon guys, Chris here from Internet Magic. We're actually stopped in over at Wilderness on Independence Day to check out some of the activities that were going on. And we saw that today on today's schedule was the first annual 4th of July Independence Day dog parade over at the wagon trails. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check it over at the dog park, see all the cute little patriotic puppies as they get dressed up and parade around and uh, um, see if we can keep a little bit on the cool side as well. Cause it's a hot one. So I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of tongues of wagon. Come and join us to go see some dogs. I don't know if you guys are like me. I've never had the chance and opportunity to come over to Fort Wilderness and enjoy the puppy parade or the dog parade that's being held here. So we are going to get a sort of an upfront look over here at the Wagging Tails Dog Park. So all of our patriotic canines for participating today will get to have a nice participating tree. We're as excited as you are to be here, Danielle. <laughs> we cannot wait. Right, Thank you. Uh, Y'all are very far away, but hopefully you're uh, enjoying this and we'll see some smiles and we'll have a lot of good clapping and cheering going on for the contestants. Thank you. Yes, this is our first Noel. Thank you, David, for reminding me that. It, it is Christmas in July here, here at Fort Wilderness. That's right, folks. If you're just joining us, you're just walking by, you're experiencing the Wagon Trails Patriotic Dog Parade. And this is Noel. Noel is looking good. I love the salt and pepper on the snout. Exciting. Are they human treats or are they dog treats? I mean, if you want to eat them, have at it. Okay. I don't recommend it, though. Well, it would be. competition we did. you did you knew so you so you had an unfair advantage is what you're saying <laughs> I'm not saying it's on par with doping yeah you're not doping clearly they're, they're clearly disadvantaged physically they're short they're stumpy they're adorable though I love them oh Lincoln log of course fantastic so the name of this dog is Doppler 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 so you have to be yeah, sure. Shady over here. Where are you going, baby? Hallie. Oh my goodness! And speaking of Uncle Sam. Oh my goodness, Callie is wearing some shulk shulks. <laughs>
blessing the course. We appreciate that. He does get extra points. <laughs> Little known fact, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the flag that is being worn by the handler was actually sewn by the dog. <laughs> well done. Excellent, excellent uh, craftsmanship. Yes. I started to wear that same little leotard out here, but I would have been very embarrassed if both of us dollies had showed up in the same outfit. She looks good. Dolly, you're adorable. Yes. Looking good, sweetheart. Yes? Yeah. I this is Farley and Zoe. They are best friends. Farley, you said. Farley, yeah. Farley and Farley. Zoe. Best friends. BFFs forever. Celebrating the Independence Day. How old Roxy is? No. One year old, and Roxy is a Border Collie. Yee Good job, kiddo. Doing a great job there. Yeah, I got the Please do not let the leash go, even though you're inclined to. We got you. Let it go, let it go. We're with you, Six Bits. Fantastic. Like, who's talking to me? Why don't I see you? And it's coming out of a box. Yee-hoo! Good job, Anna and Elsa. Next up, we have... Snowball, dressed up as Chef Mickey. Yeah. Snowball as Chef Mickey. Ladies and gentlemen, people wait. They, they make reservations months in advance just to pet this dog. I love her. Look at her. She's got a cowboy hat and blonde braids. Ah, adorable. So look at Samantha. She's like, do you see me? Because I'm pretty cute. Look at, look at me. She completely posed for that picture. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Petey is a flying rocket now. Absolutely. That's how you do it. All right. Roxy is bringing the charm and the tricks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This dog has better hand-eye coordination than I do. Wow. Oh, right in front of the judges. Oh, there it is. I like it. There you go. The judges are going to tabulate their scores now. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy a little, uh, a little Neil Diamond. Folks, too, if you're wondering, you've been, you come to the campground, but you're like, who are these weird people on the microphones? My name is Six Bit Slocum. Yes, and I'm Dolly Drew. And uh, you, we can be found three times nightly over at the, the hoop de doo Review uh, here in Fort Wilderness. So uh, if you haven't seen the show before, we just celebrated our 45th anniversary. That's right. That is, that is uh, let's see, seven. That's a, that's a lot in dog years is what I'm trying to say. So come and see us anytime. Like I said, three, night, three shows a night, every, uh, seven nights a week, 365, uh, unless there's a hurricane. And then, even then, we're probably still doing a show. And it's not just the Pioneer Hall players, that's us. There's food, yeah. That's a good point. There's all you can eat chicken and ribs and all you can drink beer and sangria. It's a good time. Always gonna help you with that. Figuring out who wins. Ready? Okay. All right, guys, I wanna thank you all for participating, but we do have our three winners. In third place is Petey. Petey, come on up here. Come grab your prize. Petey, Petey. come on down. Woo, Petey. Petey looking good with his fireworks. And tell them, what have they won? They won a 
tennis ball, a frisbee, and a secret prize from our court wilderness and a photo as well. Our second place winner is Dolly. What? Dolly. What a win! What a win! What? It was it was the more oh, Dolly, smaller, the other Dolly. Yeah, the other one. Precious Dolly. Where is Dolly? Dolly, come on up here. Yes, Dolly. <laughs> They're gonna try to come to you. It's a long a long walk. A tennis ball, a frisbee, and a secret prize. Everybody. All right, folks. Our first place winner is Luna. 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 Luna, Luna was dressed here. as Betsy Ross, if I recall correctly. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's the bonnet that won it for her. I couldn't agree more. That and the, uh, the excellent... Uh, uh, craftsmanship on the the hand sewn flat paw paw sewn flag yeah. Look at how proud she is. She's about to bust that corset there on her little outfit. She's adorable. Yeah, get the bonnet back on her. That's a really adorable. All of our winners, all of you guys for coming out here today. All right, we just want to thank thanks everybody for coming out. We want to thank Six Bib and Dolly for coming out here and Danielle for doing this. You guys have a great fourth. We'll see you next time. We'll see. I said it wrong. I'm like, I'm not. Great job, great job on the narration today, guys. I have to say, by far, this was the best dog parade I've seen today. I mean, no shadow. Um, and I, and largely thanks to you guys. So, great job. Best dog parade today. I, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the hoop you do may be, they may be losing you guys to better and greener pastures. You know, well, as long as they don't get blessed too often, then they get a little yellow. Yes, but that's right, they do. Some of the grass dies. But you did got a great job today. A lot of fun. Are we going to see you guys at next year's dog parade? Well, we're hoping so. we're going to be at the next holidays dog parade. Yeah, they, they keep adding them. They're going to keep adding them. So when's the next one going to be? Easter and now, so I'm assuming at least Halloween and I'm maybe. Danielle, do you know? What's Are we trying to do another dog parade before Halloween? Like a Labor Day? You know what? I'm going to have to try and see if it's see if it's. Yeah, a back to school parade. Back to school. Yeah. Is there a, is there a, is there a, is there a Halloween one? Oh, I can't wait to come back and see the Halloweenies. All right, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. All right. Appreciate it, guys. It's awesome. Great job today. So that was a fun little time over here at the uh, dog park at Fort Wilderness. Uh, coming to the final, they've had this dog parade for other holidays, and I think this is the first time they had one on the 4th of July. So uh, I'm not sure. I think the next one may actually be Halloween. I have to come check it out again. I'm sure that it's a kind of a fun little activity in the middle of the afternoon. And uh, the dogs and their owners certainly loved it. So thank you guys for watching and following along on some of the unique adventures we can see and do here at Walt Disney World. We enjoy bringing it to you guys. And if there's something you haven't seen and we haven't covered, we'd love to hear about it from you and see some suggestions of what you can see on our channel upcoming in the future. Just let us know down in the comments. Let us know what activity have you not heard about or you want some more information on. Maybe see if we can cover it from next time. Um, also, if you're not already subscribing, guys, we need you to join our Magic YouTube community. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right here. We'd love to have you part uh, of our community. And also click that bell so you get notified the next time we have new videos coming up. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. You guys have an awesome and magical day. We'll see you in the parks.